chapter 1, Mishnah 5. We have learned that a parhalim devar is brought when a majority of the community follows a mistaken ruling. Since the Jewish population was divided among 12 tribes, there can be a majority in one of three ways. 1. The sinners make up a majority of the Jewish population as well as a majority of all 12 tribes. 2. The sinners are a majority of the tribes, i.e. 7 tribes, but they are not a majority of the overall population. 3. The sinners are a majority of the Jewish population, but they do not come from a majority of the tribes. This Mishnah discusses who brings the par halim devar, the court or the members of the community who followed the ruling, in each of these three scenarios. The Mishnah first discusses a case in which the sinners make up a majority of the Jewish people, as well as a majority of the twelve tribes. If the court mistakenly ruled to permit a forbidden act, and the entire Jewish community, or most of them, that is, a majority of each of the tribes, committed that act based on the court's word, the court brings a bull as a parhalim devar. The community does not bring any offering. If the court's mistaken ruling was about idol worship, for example, the court rules that a form of idol worship is permitted, other offerings are brought instead of the parhalim devar. The Mishnah states who brings these offerings. And if the erroneous ruling was about idol worship, the court brings a bull as an ola offering and a male goat as a chatas offering. The community does not bring any offering. These are the words of Rabbi Meir. Another opinion. Rabbi Yehuda says the court does not bring the offerings. Rather, for most mistaken rulings, the 12 tribes bring 12 bulls. That is, each tribe brings a bull as a parhalim devar. And if the mistaken ruling was about idol worship, the 12 tribes bring 12 bulls and 12 male goats. One bull and one male goat from each tribe. A third opinion. Rabbi Shimon says, for most mistaken rulings, 13, bull, 13 bulls, bulls are brought as par halim devar. Each tribe brings one, and the court brings one as well. And if the ruling was about idol worship, 13 bulls and 13 male goats are brought. One bull as an ola, and one male goat as a chatas by each tribe, and one bull and one male goat by the court. The Mishnah now presents the views of of these three to nine in the cases where the sinners are not a majority of all 12 tribes. If the court ruled erroneously, and either seven tribes, that is, a majority of the tribes, even if they are not a majority of the population of the Jewish people, or a majority of the population, even if they are not from a majority of the tribes, committed the forbidden act based on the court's word, the court brings a bull as a parhalim devar. And if the ruling was about an idol or was about idol worship, the court brings a bull as an ola and a male goat as a chatas. In either case, the community does not bring any offering. These are the words of Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Huda states his view. Rabbi Huda says, if seven tribes sinned, they bring seven bulls as a parhalim devar, because each tribe and not the court is obligated to bring the offering. In addition, the other tribes who did not sin each bring a bull as a parhalim devar on account of the tribes who sinned. Because when the majority sins, even those who did not sin bring offerings on account of those who sinned. Thus, a total of 12 bulls are brought. Rabbi Shimon presents his view. Rabbi Shimon says, if seven tribes sinned, eight bulls are brought as parhalim devar. The tribes who sinned each bring an offering, and the court brings one as well. And if the erroneous ruling was about idol worship, eight bulls and eight male goats are brought. A bull and a male goat by each tribe who sinned, and another bull and male goat by the court. In either case, the tribes that did not sin do not have to bring any offerings. Usually, a parhalim devar is brought for a mistaken ruling issued by the Great Sanhedrin in Jerusalem. In addition to the Great Sanhedrin, there were smaller courts in every city throughout Eretz Yisrael, and each tribe had a high court that oversaw all the courts in that tribe. The Mishnah cites a dispute whether an, er an erroneous ruling by a tribal high court is subject to a parhalim devar. If the high court of one of the tribes mistakenly ruled to permit a forbidden act, and the majority of that tribe did that act based on the court's word, that tribe is obligated to bring a parhalim devar. But all the other tribes are exempt from any offering. These are the words of Rabbi Yehuda, another opinion. But the sages say, people are obligated to bring a parhalim devar only for following an erroneous ruling of the great court, i.e. the great Sanhedrin, but not for following an incorrect ruling issued by any other court. For it is stated regarding the Parhalim Devar in Levit Leviticus 4.13, if the entire assembly, i.e. court, of Israel errs. This implies that only a ruling of the great Sanhedrin, which is the assembly of all Israel, creates an obligation to bring a Parhalim Devar, but not a ruling made by the assembly court of one particular tribe.